The balloons were used mostly for reconnaissance, to spy out terrain and the enemy movements from a safe height. Reports were made by sending down messages and sketch maps in weighted bags hung on the balloon cable and by telephone between the balloon and the ground. There were difficulties with using balloons. It could take up to 10 hours to inflate one and it was easier to keep them inflated, stored in pits in the ground to protect them. The balloons also had to travel with a chemistry lab in order to produce the hydrogen for inflating the balloons, increasing the amount of kits to be transported. They were at the mercy of high winds, only operating in winds up to 20 miles an hour, and only usually up to heights of 1,000 feet. The smaller balloons could also only fit one man in the basket, and so the observer sitting in the rigging became common. The balloons were first used in service in 1885, when the balloon detachments were employed under Major Elsdale in the Bechuanaland expeditions, and in the Sudan under Lieutenant Mackenzie and Major Templar. The highest ascent achieved was during the Sudan campaign at Tambuk of 2,000 feet. Ali Karar reported seeing guns firing at Suakin, 28 miles away. In 1890, the balloon section and depot was established under the command of Lieutenant Jones RE, and an air unit was included in the British Army for the first time. The balloons were widely used in the Second Boer War in South Africa in 1899. The 11 balloons used were 10,000 cubic feet, small enough that the use of mechanical winding gear for hauling down was unnecessary. The method used instead for bringing down the balloon was to bear down on the cable by means of men walking or running with a pole slung on the cable by a snatch block.